You've probably heard how virtual reality simulates any world you can imagine, enabling your learners to encounter true-to-life scenarios without facing real-world risk. But did you know that there are different types of virtual reality environments? In this video, we'll break down the two major types of virtual reality, 360-degree virtual reality and full virtual reality. So stay tuned. And welcome to the Training and Development channel. I'm Casey Trim. And I'm Patrick Mangalano. If you're watching this video, you're probably ready to create some cutting edge virtual training for you and your employees. But the first step is to determine what type of virtual environment is best for you and your learning content. So let's jump in and explore the differences between 360 degree virtual reality and full virtual reality. Let's start by comparing the different immersive experiences that virtual reality can deliver. The 360-degree virtual reality uses an environment made of a recorded video shot with a 360-degree camera providing a full view around you. This means that the items within the experience are real and it's typically created using actors. Because this VR experience is not simulated, it provides three degrees of freedom which means that the user is put in a fixed location with the ability to look left, right, up and down, but they can't move around within the VR environment. Scenarios and branch learning can be built into the 360 degree VR training where selections can be made with hotspots and interactive buttons, but keep in mind that you cannot interact with objects using the headsets. Full virtual reality uses an environment made of a digitally engineered environment created by developers. These environments can vary in the amount of detail you see and there are more opportunities for interactions within the environment. While 360 degree VR allows the user to make selections, Full VR gives the user the ability to interact with objects, whether it's picking items up, navigating equipment, or other interactions. Now that we know the differences between the two immersive experiences, keep in mind that one is not better than the other, but they do have use cases where one experience may be more suited than the other. Let's dive into how to use these two experiences. Our clients typically use 360 degree VR for soft skills training. This is because we can recreate the right environment, maybe even our own client's office, and the actors within the activity can show microaggressions, emotional outbursts, and put the learner on the spot. More examples or topics for 360 degree VR training include diversity training, communication, management, leadership, customer service, and sales. Most of the time for these types of training activities, the branch learning is done through choice selections and there's typically no need to interact with objects within the environment. On the other hand, we see full VR being used for technical training topics. This is because we can recreate equipment and hazardous environments for employees to practice in. In addition, learners can use handsets to practice physical movements and interact with objects. More examples or topics for full VR training include equipment repair, machine handling, safety, stacking or palletizing. Most of the time for these types of training activities, the branch learning is done through object interaction in addition to choice selection, creating a more immersive experience. While we can't give you an exact price for VR training program, we can give you a price range. Any custom training program will have many factors affecting what you pay. Some of these factors include instructional design, VR programming or filming, equipment and headsets, and extended reality systems. A 360 degree virtual reality training pilot program typically costs between $20,000 to $30,000 for organizations getting started with VR. When you're ready to move past your pilot program and grow your VR training, you can expect to pay on average between $30,000 and $75,000 or more. With a full virtual reality training pilot program, you can expect to pay between $40,000 to $60,000. When you are ready to move past your pilot program or jump right into a full virtual reality training program design, you can expect to pay on average between $50,000 and $150,000 or more. 
Hopefully, this video has helped you understand the differences between 360 degree VR and full VR. If you want to learn more about VR training, you can download our seven step guide. And if you want a free consultation on ways to modernize your training program, you can schedule time with our team today. The link is in the description below. If you have any questions, reach out to us at any time and make sure to like this video and subscribe for all things training and development.